right, got something special in the mail today. Let's see what we have here. Oh. Post protectors. We will unbox this and see what they're all about. So I ordered these from Kin at postprotector.com. I'm going to include all of his information, all of his contact information in the um, description of this video. This is not a paid advertisement. I ordered these directly from him and he sent them to me. This is just my uh, honest review and use of this product. I looked around online a little bit to see what I wanted to put my posts in the ground with to protect them. I knew I didn't want to just use treated wood in contact with the ground. Um, we'll talk about why I didn't want to do that uh, later in the video. Uh, but yeah, let's unbox this and get into it and see what we got. So you guys have seen all the lumber that I have out on the site and that I carried up by hand. You know I have uh, four six by six posts and then the, the four by four posts. And what the post protector does, I got the, the 42 inches, uh, the 42 inch um, protectors because the frost line where I am is about 12 to 16 inches, I think, 14 to 16, somewhere in there. And so I got the 42 inch because I don't have to dig down that deep to get below the frost line. Um, I do have treated and lumber rated for ground contact, but still with treated lumber, um, <clears throat> it can still rot when in contact with the ground. If you look at a lot of pole barns uh, that are being built, they don't just bury them in the ground anymore. They use they, they use a, a cement pillar and keep the, the wood actually above ground, or they um, bury in some kind of protectant. Post protector is one that I found online that I wanted to give a try uh, because it's, it's super simple. You this is this is the four x four one. You slide the four x four in there. You bolt in here here, here, and here. Dig your hole, pour your concrete pad, let it dry, put that down there, backfill with dirt. You have uplift protection with these ribs here. And if you really wanted to, I mean, you could cement around this also. Um, we'll see when we get out there. But it's, it's really that simple. Um, I started to say, I don't know all the science behind it, but um, moisture is not what rots your wood, right? So, so you could take your 4x4 post, you could throw it in a lake 100 years later, pull it up, it's, it's not rotten, all right? What, what rots wood is the microorganisms in the soil. The, the conditions caused by moisture and oxygen around the wood actually is what draws the microorganisms to the wood to feed on it. So uh, post protector, what it does is encases your wood so the microorganisms can't get to it. You don't bury this all the way. You want to make sure uh, at least six inches sticks above grade. Uh, there are vents down here that you poke through to drain the to, for water to drain out. Um, but essentially, it, it creates a barrier between your post and the ground. It's a post protector. <laughs> so let's see what they sent. I have, these are the four by four, four by four by 42 inches. And I believe these are really cool, man. I have eight of those. Put them there. I'm excited. I can't wait to get out there and dig my holes. Uh, my concrete poured for my footings, for my six by six footings. You guys saw the the preformed concrete footings for the. Oh, this one must have the the hardware in it. So there are my eight four by four post protectors, 
and then here are my big six by six post protectors. And then it comes with the hardware also, I'll show you in just a second. It's in the bottom of one of these. Okay. Yeah. It's in the bottom of this one. Pour that out down there and then I'll... So this is just some, some plastic sheeting. So here are their lag screws with washers. And it, well, <laughs> I didn't mean for that to happen when unboxings go wrong. All right, so it comes with four, each post protector comes with four uh, lag screws. And come on, there we go. Each post protector comes with four lag screws and these rubberized washers to seal, can you see that? Yeah. To seal around the, the hole. So that you don't, I mean, you can go back and get some gel, but, or, or, uh, what's that? Ah, I can't think of what they call it, but it's that flex seal, flex seal. So each one of these comes with a little hardware kit. Don't want to throw any more away. And instructions in there on how to use it. It also shows you instructions on how to dig the hole and pour the footing. Just make sure I got all these. So we have eight, 12, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, 9, 10, 11, 12. All right, guys, that's all for right now. Um, I'm going to post some links in the description. I'll give you Ken's um, contact information. I'll also post a link to a video that is the video that I learned about post protectors from. So you guys can check them out. And if you order them, again, this is not, this is not like a, a paid um, endorsement. I, I'm not getting any kind of kickbacks if you order from Ken. It's just the guy that I talked to on the phone got this stuff shipped out and like it was quick man. I was gonna order these from Lowe's and Lowe's was gonna take like 11, 12 days to send them to me. Uh, I actually called the post protector people again. Ken is the one that reached out. I'm gonna give you his contact information. He got these things to me and like it had to have been three days. It was two or three days and these things were here. So, uh, yeah, all of that stuff will be in the, in the description. If you've used these before, let me know what you think. If you order them and then use them, again, let me know what you think. All right, guys, questions, comments, leave them below, and I'll see you on the ridge.